Greetings everyone, this is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions. And before I go on to do my next video talk show, I am stopping by from my immediate area off Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, the one and only, the famous Bendix Diner, as seen on the Jerry Seinfeld Netflix series, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. That's right. It is in my close area, and, and it, I love it here. Outstanding food, outstanding coffee, and I will go in soon before I go on to do my next show. We love to keep going on. That's because you're, you look like you're meditating. Trying to listen. You can't hear that, eh? Oh. Almost sounds like a juice hog. It's not. You can't be quiet here. What's, what's the point just to in leaving the house? <laughs> just to listen. Walk in between. Oh, okay. Walk consistently. It doesn't have to be continuous. Well, what's the point in leaving the house? To I come out and have conversations. <laughs> what's the point of going to a concert? What's the point of going to a movie? You don't have to always be talking. You have a point. You say you go to watch things, hear things, talk, and that's all. You see? Okay. You get a song, it's over, then you talk. But you have a nervous habit where well, you've got to keep going. Don't. Where's your girlfriend? Her, her pattern of behavior is no, very no, bizarre. No, that is a that's, she do jazz. that's even she worse. She doesn't do jazz. She had to work with her. No, I mean, she. Sometimes she comes like every day. I love her so much. First time I heard this, I was over. Oh, no. Yes, I remember that. That's why I bought the CD. Popular Science Magazines used to bring it to the table. I remember that. No. The, the Barnes & Noble of uh, Rule 17. You used to always bring a, uh, a popular science no. and read it. No, I bought every kind of magazine you think of. Well, I know you like popular science. Well, yeah, but I bought it maybe twice. That's all. Oh, I'm proud to be I knew all, all everybody. If you know that, I said, oh, okay, I'm trying to do it. Tell him to know. You can see me. Now you see how, how how huge a child's ice cream cone is compared to when I order one. I'll tell you. Broken bitches. Well, well, they coddle kids too much in this country. Well, well, don't tell me. Tell them. I will. Good. I'll bail you out tonight. No, I'll say it in you know. Yeah. In, in a, uh, okay. okay. I'm entering the Holiday Inn, Bananas Comedy Club, and uh, Gabriel's, uh... All right, now entering Gabriel's uh, bar. There we go. Grill and bar is the place. Okay, here's Gabriel's, the bar, and there the ports. USB ports. All right, I am now going to plug my USB port into the bar, the bar's connections, so keep my phone charged, see? Why are you telling us? Amigo, tacos de carnitas today. Maybe tomorrow, if I have the appetite for it, with all the, with my, uh, my uh, lower bowels uh, gurgling from the damn surgery. What do you got there? Oh, it was at Chipotle's, uh, Poblamo. No, it's just uh, jalapeno. When I got they get when they get in uh, sweet, they turn red. I got this is sweet right now. Okay. I got to bring you some of this my. Is like chipotle. You like serrano? Yes, serrano. I'm gonna. I'm, I I got them growing right now. They're getting red now. Oh, 
Believe it or not, the green, green is it. A, a loaded this is with. From the, from the house. See, the serrano is not too too hot. It's this like is hot. no, this is Mexican seeds. We bring the seeds, we put them in. The Home Depot has Home Depot. You know where I got? Pepper. You know where I got the serrano chili? The seeds from the Dollar Tree in uh, Lodi. I I saw them. I go, eh, what the hell? I threw them in the ground. <laughs> they grew. <laughs> You so, don't eat it, we eat it with salsa. Salsa, yeah. Today we're going to make some salsa. I'm going to tell the cook, listen, put some tomato, roasted tomato. I want to smash I, it with a garlic, onion. I, I want to order the volcanic uh, pilon that they use in Mexico mm -hmm. from the Aztecs. Yeah, 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 with the thing. It's called molcajete. Molcajete. <laughs> You're funny. Well, I'm just trying to tell him it's called molcajete. He, he don't care. He don't, look he don't care. Person. He got mad at me because I was talking about recipes with somebody. He says, ah, recipes are boring. What do you do for a living? What you I use? Like a cook. I'm retired. No, I... I you know so much about the kitchen. No, I use... So I, it talks about. I cut, I cut fish for 10 years, mariscos, for 10 years. And then I did other things. Personal trainer, nutritional consultant, and a computer networking technician. But I'm retired now. Now you what you do? Now I work for Seymour Doolittle. <laughs> now, now I'm on. Now I give reviews and do all kinds of stuff on the internet as a hobby. But I, you know, I have like uh, big groups on Facebook, on Twitter. I, I'm all over the place. Right. YouTube. You must be good. Yeah, yeah. It seems like he don't mess around. He just give him like. Next. I know Billy. No, Billy likes science, but he likes football and. Um, I don't like small talk. You know, uh, I, I don't like small. Well, talk. recipes, cooking is not he small. Knows, oh, I get annoyed when people take stories. Recipes are not really. I know. How many times do you hear? I don't. I turn around. I'm like, stop, stop. Please. My well, other friend Matt. My other friend well, Matt used to. It, it looks like uh, everybody used a to get porno on porno movie over here. Everybody used to get on Matt. They say, "Will you stop it?" Stop it. And you know how many times I said, "So what you saying is blah blah blah." Yeah. I said, then why did you just say it? Yeah, but not not with food, not with why recipes. Why do you have to go with ten different set, a whole paragraph and you can say it? The mocha, the mocha hete. You know it's called be succinct. The mocha hete. Your make your point. Comes from the Aztecs. It's a pilon. It's made of volcanic material. Am I right? They go on and on. It's fascinating. Oh, 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 you think? <laughs> oh, God. It's okay. No, I've, I've, I've met people in, in, in Mexico that converse. Uh, I wonder how many get annoyed, though, too. Come on, a lot no. of people do can't tolerate it. That could travel more. Go to a different country. I had another I friend did that. I said, would you make your damn point? point? And she goes, well, I'm very detailed. I said, what you're saying is being nice about being long-winded. And she didn't know what to say. I said, you just go on. I said, stop it. This is the second person that I know like him. Talks that much? This one right here. That well, talks a lot too? Well-educated man, and he yeah. also like to make a thing. small thing, make it. Yeah, stretch it. Oh, story. Send I the know. Cook went inside the kitchen, how he cooked the he, thing, he, and how he, he know how he, he took cooked eleven the thing. steps and tripped on one. Like, oh, yeah, how did he? Oh. How did he know how to cook the thing? That's no, you're right. No, no. But no. the mocha, you said salsa, and I thought of the mocha hete, and, and, and it comes from. It comes from the Aztecs. Yes, bartenders have to listen, even when they, yeah, yes, yeah. Yeah, but what what kind of life, you know, I used to have a job where you, you do the same thing every week, and if you don't talk to people, it I gets very, it gets very the, boring. The day goes long. It, your day is longer. It could be, uh, how's it called, the radio but when the broadcaster. The radio broadcaster, it might that. be good. Keep, 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 keep. Yeah, but it, you know redundancy in English. Redundant is the same crap you do over and over and over and over. And so if you don't interact, it's like it, the li the job becomes is not glamorous. It's like it's, well, how it's, many jobs are glamorous? It's like freaking. It's like boring. You know, they all get kind of boring. I'm sure right. the guys that go on the roof and do construction. I'm sure they're telling stories. You know, instead at of going the end, at the end of the day, they might. You know, bang, 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 bang. This is why they drink. Guess to you. 
Well, if it's Alcohol 90 degrees. Alcohol take the edge off. Let no one kid you. Just imagine if it's like a heat wave and they got to do construction, those poor guys. I, I'm happy I don't think. I do think like a party at home, but like that. But I see bartenders, they get nuts and... They need a couple drinks before they start. I got to bring a, I got to bring a couple. Well, in a way, a bartender's like a psychologist or a psychiatrist. They hear everybody's problems. Can you imagine a psychiatrist people. have to hear that? No. Now, that's why they get paid. Now, why do you think psychiatrists among the professions have the highest suicide rate? Hearing nothing, nothing but, but problems, problems every day. If they get into you, that's how you end up too. Did they ever say to their patient, well, aren't you going to ask me how I'm doing? Well, I did. I went to my parents. They sent me to a... My dad was a very high up with IBM. He sent me to IBM's top okay. shrink. They thought I was too violent in football. I said, sure, I'll go. I went to Dr. Rothman. Sat down. He goes, after he spoke to me for a while, he goes, this guy was brilliant. I mean, to be an IBM, you've got to be good. <sighs> you don't need a psychiatrist. So I want to know that. God, I'll tell you in a minute. They just <laughs> passed me to death. Here. Mocha head they. They should have a superhero this is called Captain. <laughs> That'll be a good name for a luchador. All right, I'm ready. You ready to hear the rest of this? Yes, it's a, a BS phone call. Oh, so uh, he says, you don't need a shrink. I said, oh, I know that, but can I keep coming? And he goes, well, yeah, but why? I said, oh, this is fun. So I went for a number of months. He finally called my parents in. Remember the boat sitting over the sofa? He chewed them out. He said, this is no exaggeration. Swear on my parents' lives. I have never learned so much about life and living than I have from this young man. I should be paying him. Wow. He said, you know what he's taught me about living and life? I just sat there like that. I just knew. I said, I know I don't need this right. I said, doctor, I'm getting psyched up for every game. You yell, you're like, Bam. Bam. you get ready, you get hyped up. You have the adrenaline, more than adrenaline than other people. It's exciting. Type A personality, type A. I don't want to hurt you. I just hopefully make more points for you. I love playing the game. I'm not going out with the intent to hurt. I want to score more than you. It's like an MMA. It's like an MMA fight. And if I did lose, I'm the first to shake your hand. Referees and everybody. Now why, when I play ball, when I ran on the field, did I, the other teams oh, clap, and even the referees did. They went, hey, Billy, Billy, because you weren't a jerk. You see, it's how you treat people. Remember one rule, it's easy to be an asshole. Everybody has that talent, anybody can be a jerk, so, you know, to earn respect. The shell over here if you need to, it's a dollar. No, I don't want to pay for air. I, I got I got a good air pump like you do in, in, in the back seat of my you car. Well, but yeah, but mine blows the fuse every time. Oh. That's 40 some dollars to redo. So a dollar compared to 40 is a big difference. What a racket that is, paying, yes. paying for air at a gas station. It is. You know? You mean the one that you showed me with the dials and everything is the one that blows the fuse? Yep. Oh, for God's sakes. And of course, the warranty is expired. That sucks. Yeah, that's the only one I know of that has a free air pump. You know, not that I'm an Exxon fan. I mean, I rather. Well, I guess it should be a dollar. But I rather pay less for gas. What if but they have to a yeah. dollar. What the but I honor them because I want to be able to use that free air pump without, you know, yeah. out of respect for that. You know. When you put a buck in, I hope that you at least can fill like a couple tires. You know, you know, it's you know, it's worse the vacuum, the car vacuuming. You got to feed quarters into that damn machine like constantly. Uh. Nice yeah, well, you know, I tell you, a Aggie, she'll, she, she, she's, she's a lot more of a, a conversationalist uh, 
you know, but she's, she's a female, so they, they like to, you know, they're more personable. Aggie, you know, when she's here, I guess Thursday through Sunday, you know. <laughs> you know, they have a better uh, bedside manner. A woman, a female, a female professional. Dudes are, dudes are a pain in the ass, they're moody. Well, women are moody if you date them, you know. Oh, by the way, that guy that ordered the chicken franchies when FU left, that was, that looked really good. And it was tender, he said. Chicken breast. But didn't that, didn't that look good? Chicken franchise. Remember that? The, that, the old guy ordered yesterday? That looked... Especially we got pork chops. Bowls or a bowl? Bun, bun in Oh, or grilled, center, grilled center yeah, cut. Grill. No, grill. Huh? Grill. Oh, grill. I said grill. grill pork chop. But, it was, but center cuts are thick. Yeah, uh, but we cut it. Little. My buddy's going to, uh, he's having a group get together. Over at, uh, oh, Christ. What's the name of the place? In? One in Little Ferry, one down here. Not Segovia. Sands, uh, Segovia. Oh, great, great. For... Rave, like those guys even raved on. They have a uh, three pound. Huh? Steak, right? The what? No, no, the restaurant? Yeah, he said they have a three pounder, which is phenomenal. They opened up a new one. Oh, you've been there, Mike? Oh, yeah, yeah. The original? He's going to the one in the Little Ferry. I think they have three or four now, right? The Little Ferry one, yeah. That's where he's going with his group, so. Yeah, it was a main. Then Moonaki is the original, I think. I've never heard bad about them. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, they're very good. You know, so. It's worth it, though. <laughs> where are you from? Okay. Huh? Okay, I don't know if you ever went. The other place they love used to be a disco, but it's on Paramus Road in Paramus. Uh, El Cid? Highly rated. Have you ever heard of El Cid? No. I've heard of it. They, re they rave about it. They say it's phenomenal. Try it some night with yeah. your girlfriend or they... wife or whatever. It's a, they rave about it. I Try heard... El Cid. Okay. You know, so. I heard they moved the Argyles and the Thistles into Lynnhurst. They did what? I heard rumors. The art, the fish and chip place. No, Mike, I, the Argyles. I, also hear, I, hear, no, I never eat I, I hear that hotel is a very <laughs> other. Well, they're, they're, they're in Carnegie. The deli, I hear it's great. Harold's or something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like there's a couple guys that used to work there. Is that really good? Yeah, yeah fish yeah, and yeah. chip places. I've heard. Uh, I heard they claim to be the world's largest selection of pickles. Yeah. Oh, do they give you like Katz's Deli, yeah, a real high big, pastrami? Really Hot pastrami. But is everything good? Uh, that's all they talk about. I don't know. I've never been there. Yeah. Corned beef. Yeah. Corned beef and pastrami, they sell a lot. Hey, where's me gold? Me, me lucky charms. I'm oh. sure it's not as good as cats. Yeah. In the city? Yeah. Well, you had the big three. You had the big three. You had cats, Carnegie, and Stage. Right. Think, which one closed? Stage? <laughs> yeah. I think Carnegie oh, and cats gosh. are still around. But, yeah. Cats is definitely still around. Yeah. Oh, fucking stress. They give you a lot. <clears throat> that's, no, that's not a sandwich. You can't get your mouth around that. Come on. You know, you got to throw that on the side and cut it up. Come on. So that, thing is, that thing is huge. The, 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 the rye bread probably breaks apart as you're trying to bite it. You want to be in that supper? <laughs> it's yeah. like the Callahan's hot dog. Remember that gigantic cat? The, the, the damn bun used to oh, fall right. apart. Callahan's. Do you remember? You're too young maybe to remember. There used to be a little shack out here called Fat Mike's. Oh, I remember Fat Mike's. Hot dogs. Yeah. But everybody go, went there. In fact, the guy that checked me out at the register once, this is in the 80s, was uh, uh, Don Ivis. Yeah? I didn't know who it was. They told me, said, you knew who that was? I said, no, it's Don Ivis. Oh, I didn't know that. Now, now Rut's hot, they deep fry everything, it's so greasy. I'm not impressed. But I'm, right about no, hey, I didn't like it. Like the it. onion rings weren't bad. You like onion rings? Oh, I love it. In, in a tempura, light yeah. tempura batter, like real crispy. Well, it's great here, too. He had the other night was your uh, 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 fried calamari. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. shrimp scampi. Yeah. It wasn't skimpy. The scampi, the scampi wasn't skimpy. Oh, God. It's like these little corners. They smell good. That's right. Yeah. frozen calamari, it's terrible. Yeah. yeah, totally different. Yeah, you don't have the tentacles, only the rings, right? I like the like Sp SpongeBob uh, Squidward. I like the tentacles. 
You should do a Maryland crab cake dinner with two cakes and, and all the trimmings. Mm -hmm. Like a whole, you know. I think four, four to five cakes. <laughs> oh, well, two dozen cakes. Get Mr. Krabby uh, out with any. That's where I was born. Congrejo. Congrejo. I can't say too much. I don't want to say too much. People. They have a clam. You know who they say one of the best steakhouses in the country is? <coughs> in the, uh, I'm a cold. For the football coach for my Colts and, and then the Dolphins, Don Shula. You see, Don Shula's steakhouse is incredible. But it's aged black Angus, you know, where they hang them up at a certain place. perfect temperature. That's the bathroom? Huh? Where is that place? Ah, Don Shula. He was the head coach for my Colts in Baltimore and then the Dolphins for quite a long time, too. Quack, so. quack, quack. So they say it's incredible. So. They also send one out of, out of Chicago, Michael Jordan's steakhouse is very good. Mm -hmm. I heard that's real good. So. You know what I had recently that I wanted to hate, but it was amazing. It was the Jordan Ramsey steakhouse. Where? In uh, Night City. He just Where is that? In Chicago? Yeah, it's in Paris. I did, he had like a tomahawk ribeye. He did it in like a tomahawk. Oh, wow. Wow. And it was amazing. Wasn't that good? It was very good. Like, I was really? all ready to be like, oh, yeah, this guy would make fun of it. Oh, it was like, one of the best things. Wow. Really? I always end up going to the Irish pub on, on, off the boardwalk in Atlantic yeah, City. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's Irish called pub. the Irish pub. They have a gift shop. I know very well. I, uh, used to, I used to go to school. The Where? chili was... You did. It was a Ventnor, Brig Brigantine. is like the yeah. towns before and after. I, I was in Absecon. Absecon, Absic yeah. Absic yeah. yeah. Yeah, that Irish pub I was in many, many houses. I love that place, <laughs> man. Is it a nice place? No, it's a dive place. It's People just love it, huh? It's a, cool bar. It's a great local yeah, yeah. bar, yeah. It's I guess bar. almost like Asbury Park with the, uh, what is Springsteen's place? Stone Pony? Or something? Stone Pony? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a dive, but everybody yeah. loves it, so. Yeah, yeah. I heard the Borgata's got a great buffet. Oh, yeah, the buffet's very Yeah, Borgata. They don't skimp, that's for sure. See you then. It, it's a cozy, I like Irish pubs because they're dark, dark yeah, wood. Then you can still go and get a $2.50 $2. $2. beer in here. Yeah. Wow, really? Yeah. The chili was awesome. The well, fried crust. What, what are you charging us today? $1.75 <laughs> for beer? For you. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Whoops. My finger hit the wrong button. Oh, my God. It's, it's you, more expensive you know where than I, I realized. You know where I had good calamari? My yeah. friend runs the Platinum Dolls uh, Gentleman's Club in uh, Passaic. Yeah, well, it's Passaic where meets Clifton. Uh, no, Platinum. Platinum Dolls. N not Bada Bings, no. And and he, he gets a cut when the girl does lap dances and other things in the room. He gets a percentage. My buddy gets a commission when the, the when, when they go in the private room. Then he's got the security cameras and he shows me, James, come here, watch watch them in action. Oh my God, you got you got hidden cameras in the rooms. Manja, yeah, everything going. Uh, you know, Main Avenue, Main Avenue in Passaic, and uh, you make a right on. Um, I think it's 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 um, Van Houten Van Houten Avenue where Passaic me before it become Clifton Platinum Dolls with a Z. Well, that's they spelled it wrong. I know they did. Jimmy Liguori, he's the guy that runs it, and and is a big the big Russian guy Alex, who was the Soviet Special Forces. How are you? My one buddy that ran one. I was telling Mike what ran one of the strip clubs in the yeah. city. This is over ten years ago. Uh -huh. And I think we're talking to the suburban diner about the uh, yeah. martinis and the prices. Uh huh. I said, I said, I said, Keith, what do you charge? This is ten years ago. Right. Eighteen dollars a martini. He said, Oh, Keith, come on. Eighteen. Because oh, well, we give you a good martini. <laughs> I said, We give a standard martini. It's all the same martini glass. They're all the same. And you, size. you gave me the recipe a long time ago. I said, Eight, Eighteen dollars. <laughs> 
It's crazy. Yeah, two parts vodka, one part dry vermouth. Two to right? one. Two to one. That's why I was telling them no ice, ice on the Three side. Olives. Three olives. Three olives. Olive. But eighteen dollars. Eighteen dollars. Why? Because it's the city. Yeah, that's the reason. Tourist. No tur it's a tourist trap. That's what I mean. Yeah. Let's be honest, most of the vodkas and everything, they really are so close in taste. You don't really notice that much. I never I, had a bad one. At least I know. I never really had a bad one. No. I mean, Either I... The one, just... No, I don't care. Give me a house, house vodka. You know, when you shake it in the metal thing, the steel thing, you it gets colder as you're shaking the ice in it. But then when it goes down your, your throat and your gullet or whatever, come on. Whether you shake it or stir it, who cares? That's just being picky. You like... These wine drinkers, they've got to sniff it, then shake it around. They put it in their mouth and... And they, and they swish it like Lavor... Drink, like, drink the crap. Like Listerine. Just drink it. Well, that's yeah. all an act just so they it's can... It's like they're being, being little prisses, you know? Like the, the beer critic, the beer critics would say, this one guy says, Oh, I, I taste a crackery, bready flavor. Well, I, I, like says, when you, I like when they, it has a hint of something. I'm like... Hint? What? How can you tell a hint? A hint. I says what you're saying is you taste the malt, right? You taste the malt, crackery. No, I would just say I don't know. I have a clue what you're talking about. He's saying, I'm just drinking this stuff. He's like, saying crackery, bready, bready crack. What the hell is it? Uh, you mean yeast? You mean? Uh, it's like overkill. You're just, you know, yeah. you're, you're just. It's like talking too much. You're just going I, dissecting all this stuff. He's making up. He's making up words. Yeah. I know hops is bitter. That I know. And there's the malt. The malt flavoring. Who cares? But it's like the bottom line is, can I have a little sample? If well, I like it, yeah, I'll pour me one. I like that. Well, they're Boy, trying to sucks. get they're trying to get sophisticated. Oh please! Stop so it. so people look up to them. That's what it is. Oh yeah, you're really cool. I want to date you because you know a wine. Uh -huh. No, like craft. In this case, it's craft beer. Yeah, please. Like when I sip this Yinling Lager. I think it's uncritical. Just drink. drink the you know what? This tastes great to me. Yeah. I don't know about crackery, bready, yeasty, this, that, and the other thing. I just know it's a great beer. I wouldn't know. I've got a cold and I can't taste anything, so I'm still drinking it. <laughs> oh, by the way, how, how was your cold last night from that jerk that gave it to you? Lousy. Mister, we have a pork chop today. It's waking it's up. Joe, you know, nose running, couldn't breathe properly. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, you may have to get a Theraflu Express or something, or a NyQuil. Or... <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. I know it's not on the chicken, right? $18 martini, come on, man. It's a key, really. And then what about those wussy martinis, like apple martinis? Those are, no, no, no. Those aren't real martinis. That's another drink. There's only one martini, traditional martini. Yeah. These are other drinks. Either gin or vodka. That's it. The original is gin. Yeah, what's slow gin mean? That means you slow pour it very slowly? No, no. It's oh, it's sweet. sweet. I thought you go in slow motion. No, like it's spelled S-L-O. Oh, okay. Like a, slow, like a slow gin fizz, right? <laughs> okay. What, slow gin fizz? It's a horrible gin. See, it's made out of the blue. Oh, that's what it is? Yeah, slow gin. Slow gin, look at that. It's Here in Walker. Oh, oh, blueberry flavored. Yeah. Look at that. Red, slow red, gin. Red, when the you go red, it's red cough syrup. Cough syrup. <laughs> yeah. Like blueberry, uh, what, blackberry brand? You've been a bad That's girl. Like, yeah. A little bit too thin. All right. Well, we know what you do with your monkey every night. <laughs> well, I just like the smacking sound. You drink an it. Alabama Slammer with that. That Southern Coke for. You ever hear of... Uh, um, um, um um, Planters Punch, Jamaica, yes, Jamaican, Jamaican drink, Jamaican punch. with Myers uh, uh, Dark Rum, I think. Yeah. Hi, buddy. How are you? And I think originally Bacardi came from you San Santiago. Ma manga, you run out there. Santiago, Cuba. Oz, please. You <coughs> can use this. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. It's just beer, Oz. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh.
How much are these uh, con confounded pork chops? Pork chops is uh, for you seventeen ninety five. Oh jeez. You get two pork chops. You can share. It better be wild boar. Better be wild boar for seventeen. Wild boar. Kind of like you when you talk, Jimmy. Oh, 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 that was a good one. Talk about wild boar. <laughs> that was a good one. No, uh, not boar. Education. Oh yes, yes, of course. Of course. Speaking of. Uh, Cages and go-go dances. You know, there's a lot of room on that corner bar for a cage, for a cage, you know, a dancing cage. When you think about it, you're like in the '60s when the girls used to dance in cages. They were lit all the ground. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Was that laughing? They did that. Mm -hmm. I think they that. Yeah. yeah. But it's a big corner of a bar, to be honest with you. I mean, look, look at it. It's huge. Oh, nice. Players Club had a nice one. Well, Players Club had a huge bar. Sure. The only thing that annoyed me was that DJ Bobby was his name. He played too much like Michael Jackson. He was like overkill. I didn't go in there back in the disco area much. You were in the front I bar. Was in the bar, the restaurant area. Yeah, yeah, where people talked. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. It was smart the way they did it. It was separate, so you can get blasted out. You want to dance? You go to the back. Right. And there was a wall separating the two rooms. Yeah, and nice. then there was a dining area, too. Phenomenal club. Phenomenal. You know, I never ate. They had a restaurant there, right? I don't think I've ever had I their food. I never did either. I heard it was great, though. But when they closed down abruptly, they were still on top of their game as far as the uh, customers yeah. go. Nobody right? knows why it happened so fast. Yeah, it was a guy's name, George Pappas, the no, owner. Kenny something. Kenny, oh, oh, oh. But my buddy John, the manager, he's the owner of the River Palm Steakhouse. You know, I still correspond with the, the head bouncer, Nick Stefano. Remember Nick Stefano? He was like the yes, head bouncer, yes, Nick? Yes. He was at one of Vern's uh, little get-together parties. Be here, 70, right? Nah, you know, he lives in Sussex County, all the way up in the corner. Oh, like Sparta? Yeah, all, all way up there. Going towards With Port Jervis. Kids or what? Yeah, marry kids. Uh, do, uh, He's still into meteorology, uh, amateur uh, weather forecasting. He always loved that. Good hobby. But he was a powerlifter um, in New Jersey State champion powerlifter, and I think. He, he was good friends with um, Jimmy Powers that became a pro wrestler who, who was at uh, um, the, the bar that used to be, that is now Satin Dolls. You, were you pro, pro or what? No, 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 no. Um, what are you getting, Calamari? No, no, I'm trying to think of the other club. Tara? Where are you there? I don't see you. Uh, I, was, I actually went out today. I went out to uh, breakfast and lunch. What would you go the other night you said? When I suggested uh, Biggie's. Oh, I didn't go in the mouth. And you still went there? Yeah. I, I was, was going to go somewhere else and then it was just a closer buy. It was good. It was a What's little good? bit overpriced. Mount Fuji. Are the acrobatics? Yeah, well, they're, they're flipping shrimp salad in the hats. And, uh, take it's one in Saddlebrook, too, on Market yeah. Street. Yeah. Take shrimp, yeah. Oh, oh, crap. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the level You love you love this buffet, Royal Hibachi in Saddlebrook? Oh, I've, I've been there. I've been yeah. It's all fresh all fresh seafood on uh, Route forty six West by the Walmart. Yeah, it's not that far at all. It's like like maybe ten minutes, if the most. I'm here for another week and a half or two weeks. So yeah, try Royal Hibachi. Yeah. I'm sure you should try it. It's one of the best wall bars around. You know her, Oz? Oh God! I don't think we should uh, ask for ID or what. <laughs> Was it? Yeah. You have to sit with strangers, right? No, we had a lot of people Oh, that's good. Yeah, I don't like sitting with strangers that, that just stare at you and don't say anything. You know, like at a big table. <laughs> it's very awkward. 
Sometimes they'll stick you. Uh, oh, oh, Minato, I love. You know, they don't have lunch buffet anymore, only dinner. No? Or I think they might have closed it. Uh, it was Minato and the one in Wayne that I used to go to. Uh, that was better than Minato. Um, Hokkaido 23? Oh, was that Route 23 that's there? Mm -hmm. Wayne. Yeah, Wayne. They, they abruptly closed down, mysteriously. Lord, I. Yeah, I'm not too far. You live here, you go home? Yeah, I take the back, the back roads. <laughs> I go home, yeah. Well, I go home because, you know, I'm still recovering. What's going to happen? From the... I mean, I could, I could go to other places, but, you know, I'm still recovering from that damn hernia procedure. Oh, how cute. The, the dollar store by the buffet has the ba sells the bamboos. Oh boy. <laughs> is that is that a common uh, uh, a dip, uh, gar a garnish? It'd be funny if you put weeds in there, you know, like. Dan you put the book, cucumber, dandelion flowers, cucumber, celery, cucumber. Yeah. <laughs> it's no, no comment. You know what kind of clam I, I had a very strange clam in, uh, in Baja on the Pacific coast. Black, mula, it was called mula clam. It's black, like this, the whole clam is black. And then you put it on the stones. Get warm up, it up. No, I had it raw. That what happened was this California couple ordered two dozen in, in uh, Ensenada. So they go, oh, this is disgusting. The woman says, I don't want this. Oh, by the way, you want this? I go, is it fresh? She goes, I just ordered it. Give it to me because it's free food. Mm -hmm. So gave me two dozen mula clams. It looked like terrible. It was like this color. I put a little hot sauce on it. Oh, it was very good. Mula clam and La, and La Paz has a different, a brown clam. That's it, don't stress Ra raisins? Oh, so so I guess prunes prunes are out of the question for you. Dry fruit, you know, goji berries are good. And dates, dried dates. I love dates. I've had broiled lamb's head, uh, Mediterranean stuff. So, yeah, cup, in Italian they call it capucella. And the Greek city, yeah, they, they, I put, you know, but it was good. It's kind of gross, but I ate it. Alert the media. Now I hear South Florida has so many green iguanas. They're not, they're not naturally from Florida, but they're all over the place. My friend in Boca Raton was saying they're on the side of the highway. They're eating everybody's flowers. You think? Are they bad? Are they good? No, they don't. The iguanas don't bother me. They're harmless. <laughs> I 
I know Central America eat them. They kill them. <laughs> Iguana. I've seen the, the brown iguana. The brown iguana likes to stay by the, the shore, the coast, on the rocks. The sp uh, spiny, Mexico has the spiny iguana. Oh yeah, especially Central Americans. They, they, uh, they call it chicken of the sea. People taste like chicken. I'm sorry, chicken of the tree. Every, everything tastes like chicken. God. Well, they they make chicken chow meow and chicken chow bow wow, chicken chow bow wow. Only a certain section, a town, which I think is horrible. You know, like the Japanese with the dolphins every year. I said, I said, how can you, how can you even think of hurting an intelligent animal that gives you shows love? I said, I told one of them. I says, I don't want to hear about your, your, your crazy... Why they keep the tuna? The tuna is a beautiful fish. Why they have yeah, but the tuna don't, don't bond with you. It's a, it's a dumb fish. Dumb fish. You think? Oh. Like a goldfish bonds with you a little bit. Yeah. A goldfish does not bond with you. Well, they look for food, actually. Oh, well, what do you think they all of them do? They all we went, look, they eat. We went down the shore in Virginia in the morning, but 5.30 before the sunrise, they got it together, all the dolphins. And yeah. they push the fish to, 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 the, to the sand. They, they all and then eat. They eat, it. They eat. They eat. Is that why the ducks run run up to me? Not that they're not because they're friendly, because they're looking they for something to eat? Food, yeah. Those they're selfish no, bastards. They're, no, they're probably five ducks. Those selfish bastards. <laughs> I, I knew there was some, there was an ulterior motive. Oh. The horse do that high too. The horse see you, it will get up. Stand up, please. A horseshoe crab? No, a real horse. Oh, a horse. A friendly animal. Yeah, a lot of animals are, are friendly Smart. because they want food. Now, I had a tortoise. I had a sulcata tortoise named Chester. No friendly too. No, this one was friendly. How do you know that? Because he wanted food. This is what I did. <laughs> come from, like come this on. is what I did. You know well, let me tell you. Let me tell you this. Th th what happened? I, I used. Oh, here it goes. I used to bring the tortoise. I used to have it graze from Memorial Day when it got warm until it, before it got cold. It would graze on the lawn, eat the weeds. As soon as the tortoise started walking towards the street, I go, Chester, no! I scream at it. It come, turn around, it come right back, and go on my feet and look up at me. Oh, yeah. And then, and how long that will take? You can train cats, you can train, like, gerbils, yeah. you can train a lot of T little... Tortoises little are not stupid. Tortuga, uh, Tierra, right? I'm so amazed that parrots, how much information they can obtain. The parrots? Parrots, you broke the parrots. parrots have yeah. the intelligence of a dog, yeah. and they live a lot longer. They sell pot belly pigs at, at New Jersey Exotic Pets in Lodi. They have they have piglets, uh, uh, pot belly uh, miniature piglets all the time. I don't think I can legally have them in the city of Toronto, but like, and that's the other problem. Say so you, you go to a breeder or whatever, and they're like, oh, it's a stay small forever, and you end up with a no, they lie. A full size. They don't. They don't go in a litter box like they told me. I found out they lied. They were lying. The pig goes in a litter box. I call them, you know, carnitas when I visit them. You know. <laughs> well, the pig reminded me of baby back ribs, and uh, you know, he loves food. All he talks about. Food. Ah, I'm a chef of the future. Remember the honeymooners? Yes, we do. <laughs> What's that? Oh, bacon is wonderful. You know, it'd be a cruel, practical joke if somebody who can't have pork accidentally got a, a transplant from a pig 
because pig organs are very kind of compact and they accidentally and then the guy the person found out and freaked out I would enjoy watching freak out <laughs> oh it'd be like red fox on Sanford and Son. it'd be like oh. <laughs> yeah they'll, they won't just do it but I'm just saying in a macabre way I like that word macabre <laughs> macabre you know it'd be cool the, the, the owner of the New Jersey exotics wants to get fruit bats in cages and sell them but New Jersey law prohibits that you know like the, the bats that get really big yeah, like a fruit bat that hangs upside down, but they're big. But she's a gothic girl. <laughs> now she's. Yeah, they are. She's got tattoos absolutely everywhere. Megan. <laughs> Yeah, I gave her a whole bunch of yeah, I gave her a whole bunch of gargoyle statues that I had. I had too many because I like to collect them. I knew she, you know she really loved it. You know, I says I knew you were gothic chick and everything, but. Now the capital of Canada is, is Ottawa. It's Ottawa. Okay, which is in Ontario also. Oh, it's not in Ontario? Oh, oh. Ottawa is not in its own province. No, it's not in Ontario. Yes, it is. It is. The province. But Ottawa is in Ontario. That's why I have to do it. 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 My friend lives in New Brunswick. My friend from Boston moved to uh, Maritime Provinces. I said, man, you must get great seafood up there. Oh, Nova great. Scotia. I'll eat all, I'll eat like a sea lion, pickled herrings and everything. Any smoked herring? No, no, I mean like I would eat like oily bait fish or. So, um, sardines. Yeah, but not if I, I, I'm dating somebody. I, I would do it on my own time. You know, it's like. I mean, unless the couple, unless the couple is eating the sardines together and they don't care. But. I've never been bothered by someone eating something that. Yeah. Well, American girls, uh, they would complain <laughs> if I ate, opened up a can of sardines in front of. Them. No, anchovies. Anchovies. It's well, it's salty. It's just a it's a salty cured they're close. My my ex called them slugs because they're 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 narrow. It's gotta go. They're slugs. Well yeah, they're actually no they're lance actually yeah, they're land snail slugs. Land snails. You know how you trap them and kill them? You beer. They slugs and land snails that are Attacking your garden, they love beer and they'll go inside and drown. You should see, you should see the slugs, the beautiful slugs in Australia and in Northern Europe. They have ones that are bright red, orange. Yeah. Oh yeah, the brown, the brown snakes they have there. The, forget it. The, some of the spiders. That's why the British had the, the, the Botany Bay Penal Colony. Oh, I could imagine that. The war there. The battlefield. They say, yeah, no prison. We'll just let you loose in Australia. Yeah. Is that fair? The Aboriginal, the Aboriginal people are like, I didn't realize it was over 15,000 years. 
culture. The Aboriginals, pretty old. Let's do it. Oh, 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 he killed a radio a man convicted of killing a radio host April uh oh for what What's that? I love that. That's more fun than Yeah. We're the only local people here, I guess. Oh, him too. Oh, yeah, that's the I don't know. I, yeah, I hear it's highly rated. The food's good. I don't live far. He lives even closer. <laughs> 25 miles northwest of Harvard. Well, they, we do serve a function. I mean, we could give tips on where to go, where not to go. You know, for those that want to leave the hotel. There's a real hopping place in uh, Garfield called Blackjack Mulligans. If you like, like Irish pubs that are really, yeah. I'll talk to you, and I, I hope you feel better. And uh, next time, um, when you see that jerk, oh, I'm gonna tell him you're a moron. Uh, say, do you have a cold? Otherwise, I'm, don't be. A I'm gonna say, uh, you go. I'll, I'll get through some other way. Yeah. I said, give me my first cold over 15 years. Or Hall's mental lipus, honey lemon uh, eucalyptus drops. Or I said, oh Christ, you're coughing your guts up. I said, what's going on here? Very next day I had. Some guy coughed in his face that he knows without covering his mouth. I haven't had a cold in over 15 years. I got it because it's a moron. Oh, really? It's an idiot. Totally avoidable. Yeah. yeah. I think we should work him over. What do you and think? And after he drops me back home from the doctor or something, he was home and goes to bed. He felt so bad. I said, you're oh, wait a minute. Idiot. I might catch some if we. We no, I said, you're a moron. This is why his son with the dolphins won't talk to him. Oh, his sons disowned him. They won't have a thing to do with him. Well, Danny passed away. Uh, oh. Years ago. oh, boy. Well, you have enough to deal with. You know what I mean? You know. One day of peace, I think I shit. Oh, oh, I oh God. We'll get this out of the touch up for that outside. I'll see you later, okay? I'll see you. <laughs> All right. I, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you. I'll see you. All right, Jimmy. I normally don't bring my wire, my charger, but then I see the wonderful... No, but Jimmy... Jimmy, nobody cares. The ports. Yeah. I know, this is the first time I ever did this at a bar until I saw the ports. I've seen bars where they have stuff like this where it'll be like on the pillar. I was right. going to say, I've seen them actually in the umbrellas. Yeah. Really? And never, never on the bar. Never on the bar here. And some guy from uh, Virginia, his iPhone was dead almost, and I lend him mine because I was charged up. You know, I lend him my, char my you know, charger and he was grateful for it because he was up to 80% when I left. The first time I came down here, my phone was at maybe 10% and it died and then I realized there was a USB plug and I was like, well next time, like now you have to carry a charger everywhere you go. I should be carrying yeah. this. Yeah, well in the car I have the, you know, the cigarette lighter thing, you know, and that's that. Uh, I'll come back and see if I have a fork lock. We were renting the house and now they took it away. You know.